Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the beginner Linux distribution. Now, there aren't any distributions that are specifically geared towards beginners. Um, th there's only just Linux distributions and then there's different people that require different things out of different OS's. I'm going to be going over the two different types of beginners and then there, there's the many different operating systems that you can use for those two different types. Now let's say you're the first type of beginner. The first type of beginner is the type of beginner that's never used Linux before and that uh, all they want out of a Linux distribution is just out of the box features and that it just works. In this case you would go for something like Ubuntu and there's Linux Mint and then there's uh, I guess open SUSE, open SUSE com. that's the website so these are the three of my favorite um, beginner OS's uh, I've used all of them in the past and all of them I mean the hell of them suck at one point but then they fix it but um, yeah, these are the three most popular beginner OSs. Now, as far as these, the first time a beginner, since my favorite distro personally is Arch Linux, since at the moment I'm sadly using Ubuntu, don't really pay attention to what I'm using at the moment. Just at the moment, I like Arch Linux. Now, if you want to use Arch Linux, I would always recommend you to just use Arch Linux, it, Linux itself but there's also a um, out of the box experience sort of distro that's based on Arch Linux and this is actually if you want to get used to using Pacman which is the package manager for Arch there's uh, Manjaro Linux Manjaro is another out-of-the-box distro. It looks great and it comes with lots of different desktop environments and it's based on Arch. So again, now there's the second type of dis uh, beginner. This type of beginner is the type of beginner that hasn't touched Linux before or they have touched Linux before but not that much. But they don't really care about how um, easy it is to install. They don't really care how about I'm out bleh. They don't really care about whether or not you get to click next, next, next on the installation. I mean what their objective is they want to learn. They want to learn Linux and all about Linux and more about computers and whatnot. This second type of beginner should go for something like Arch Linux. Arch Linux is a very, very minimal Linux distro. It's very beautiful once you get it configured, but once you install it by itself, it's actually just a command line. Um, then there's uh, there's um, you know, Gentoo. Uh, usually I pronounce it like Gentoo, but I know it's pronounced Gentoo. Gentoo, the website itself might not look great. But Gentoo is probably going to give you the best performance on your machine than you have ever s seen on any Linux distribution you've ever. S it's amazing. It's just sim like it takes simplicity to a new level by just making it uh, really fast. It, it what you when you install it, you actually compile everything from source. So of course when you do that you end up with a very efficient machine. The third uh, along with these would be um, Slackware. Slackware people say I've never used it personally but I've read how people say that I mean it's it's very very fun as far as if what you want to learn and when you're done using Slackware and you've got it all configured and you've got it all everything installed and you're ready to use it like a normal person you have learned a lot along the way. So, also, I mean, there are a lot of specialist, specialized distros 
geared towards certain things like if you're a beginner and you want to and you have a server and you want to make it a Linux server you could do something like send OS or um, Savion says that they have a really nice server um, you can use Debian etc and uh, even FreeBSD is really great for a server um, but for for uh, an example which I don't think there are many of them but uh, music producers and video editors uh, I know there's a Linux distribution somewhere out there that's completely uh, customized towards uh, producers and video editors and it's based on Ubuntu and what you get basically when you open it up is all of these um, top of the line Linux mixing programs and producing programs and video editors and stuff like that so if you want to start out using Linux you can use um, those uh, mentioned distros I mean I'm not telling you to do anything you can do whatever the hell you want but this is just my suggestion and my opinion so I mean just my two cents so I hope you took my uh, opinion into consideration in picking your first Linux distribution and thanks for watching guys see ya